Hi everybody, Gerdy here. It's been a while since I've been live and done a video. And even now I'm not live, I'm recording this because I don't have reception around here. But I felt I want to talk to you again about values, about core values and the importance of, of them for our vision, for realizing your vision. And if you don't know what your vision is, for discovering your vision and also for reigniting your vision because that's what I do I help people reignite their vision I do that by helping them reclaim their identity by regaining helping them to regain clarity and also by helping them stepping into their power and power again by taking back control now in the, when we talk about identity, a big part of that is values, core values. And lots of people ask me, okay Ger, but what are core values? What are values? Values are principles or beliefs held by people or organizations that are of central importance to them you could say it's like it, it's the core it's the core the backbone the core of a organization or a person when it comes to how they respond react to situations to people in conversations when they express opinions when you're a business uh, or when you have a business when you the kind of business that you are, how you present yourself to the outside world, how you work with your employees, how you behave with your employees, how you behave in the direction of your clients, and when it's your personal values, it's all about how you act and react, respond in situation with your family your friends society all those kinds of things in particular when it gets a little bit harder when you deviate from what popular opinion is or what popular actions are they are uh, values are like the fence posts of a fence when they're firmly planted into the in the ground, they hold up the fence solidly. When they're a bit wobbly, it's really easy for people to cross, to, to step over that fence, or even push it over, and have you do basically what it is that they want you to do, or say the things that you, they want you to say. when that happens when you're when you're not clear on what your core values are on whether it's as a business or or as a private person and let's be fair those when you have a business as a private person your core values your personal core values are probably closely linked and maybe even the same as they are for your business or your organization where was I? Um, when you're clear about your core values, when your val when your values, when the fence post that it, that are your that is that are your values is firmly planted into the ground, it is relatively easy to maintain them, to stick to them, even when everybody else is jumping off the bridge and you say, well, this is not in line with my core values, so I'm not doing this. And I don't know if that's an expression in, uh, in your language, but in my language, in Dutch, when everybody in the community is jumping off a bridge, or when everybody in the community is doing something that is dangerous, that is stupid, that is 
ugly. We have this saying, are you going to jump off a bridge just because some, everybody else is doing it and you know it's wrong or dangerous? Or are you going to use your common sense? Are you going to stick to your core values and not do it just because everybody else is doing it? You're not going to do it because you know this is wrong or dangerous. Now there's discomfort in doing that because people won't understand or don't want to understand why it is that you're sticking to your guns, why it is that you're not doing what it is that they are doing. <clears throat> and as I said, that can be uncomfortable. And that, what I'm saying applies as much to organizations as it does to to people, to a person. Now what do your, your values have to do with your vision? I believe that the vision you have for your life or your business and those are when you have a when you are the business owner or when you are the business those two are probably closely linked I believe your core values are at the heart of the vision that you have for your life for your business or for both so if you're wobbly in your in your values it's hard it's challenging to realize that vision when you're solid in your values it becomes a little bit easier I'm not saying it is then all of a sudden really easy it's probably not but it's easier to stay on track it's easier to follow the path and it's, it's easier to stay on track you keep going in the direction of your vision you may deviate a little bit but you always come back on a track that leads to your vision you don't get pulled into other people's visions by because you're si simply because you're not following somebody else's values you're not living or acting by somebody else's values now how can you figure out what your values are if you can't if you don't know it if you can't remember them there's multiple ways a very easy way is going onto the internet just google google excuse me google core values or values and pages with lists of all possible values from trust to love to friendship to honesty to fun to just justice there's all kinds of lists out there long list with all kinds of values on there all values on there and one of the things you can do is go through those lists and just cross off what does not apply to you until you have a list of about 10 and then try and whittle them down to about three those will probably be those will be your core values start there and start planting them firmly in the ground and that's the first step to reclaiming your identity and towards realizing, getting back on track to your vision, to reigniting your vision. As always, go there greatly. Bye bye.